March. The Empire's on the run. England and the United States, everybody. Alex Jones so, and the GCN Radio Network. Get ready to bend over to tyranny. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock in the last limited shipment of 2014. The most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Vitamin B12 deficiency is linked to scores of serious problems. And Secret 12 is a fusion of two organic proprietary forms of vitamin B12, bringing you a true nutraceutical quality vitamin B12, Secret 12. Secret 12 is an excellent Christmas gift and is tailor-made to boost your New Year's resolutions. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Every year we make resolutions to lose weight and get in shape. And the truth is, it's hard. Even with diet and exercise, because of toxic food in our environment that is stressing our bodies more than ever before. Working with experts in nutrition and biochemistry, I found that super high quality nutraceuticals, in addition to my diet and exercise, were the answers that synergistically worked. I can see the drastic changes every day with the amount of weight I've lost, my increased stamina, and more of a twinkle in my eye. That's why we are now so excited to launch the InfoWars Life Resolution Pack, combining three essential formulations, oxygen-based cleanser oxy powder, the Secret 12 bioavailable vitamin B12, and your choice of super female or super male vitality. Now all available at a discounted price to you and your family to bring in the new year and make 2015 a true success. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. 2015 is the year to do it, and it all starts at InfoWarsLife.com. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. From Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. I want to open the phones up on this Friday edition, again, for first-time callers on any issue you want to raise. The French situation, the police state, what's happening with oil prices, the economy. Any angle you want to talk about, just get right to the point and have a good phone because we don't screen your calls. Just your name, where you're calling from. How you're listening, what affiliate, if you want to give us that info, I, I don't care. The calls from China, Australia, Germany. I'd love to get some calls from France. I guess just dial your country access code in 800-259-9231. 1-800-259-9231. We have an internal international line. In fact, why don't we just go ahead and fire that up. 512-646-1776, uh, 512-646-1776. We haven't turned that line on yet, so wait a few minutes. I just decided to do that in midstream. 512-646-1776, uh, or you can call the international line at GCN, 651-695-7755, or just the classic 800-259-9231. We will be taking your phone calls. I'm going to try to calm down. 
it's just very frustrating that number one, if terror threats were real, we shouldn't give up our fundamental freedoms because of that threat, because that then encourages terrorists to attack you, to take control of your civilization and make you give in to their demands. Now, if you have criminal elements in control of the civilization at the heights of corporate governance as well as governmental systems, if they can take control and run your life and get trillions in no-bid contracts over the last 15 years, would government at least allow terrorists to attack if as a society, every time there's an attack, we lose more freedom, even though losing more freedom doesn't protect us from another attack? The way the media dramatizes 13 people that are dead. Sure, it's a tragedy. We're sad. We hope the hostages weren't killed. Some of them reportedly got out alive because they had children with them. I've got one of those images on my screen of a father with his son and a, a, you know, a woman being ushered out by the police. Uh, they say the two terrorists are supposedly dead and uh, that four of the hostages were killed. But in the big picture, as you know, I say, honeybees kill 200 and something people a year, wasps 300 and something, deer running out in front of your cars is over 500, deer with their antlers kill more than 10 people a year. Oh yeah, look it up. But see, deer aren't scary, honeybees aren't scary. Great white sharks kill about five people a year worldwide. And most people are scared to swim in over their neck in the ocean. Most people I know because they think sharks will eat them. You've got a better chance of a leprechaun changing your oil. Well, maybe you got a better chance of a shark biting and the leprechaun changing your oil because leprechauns don't exist. Now I'm a conspiracy theorist, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe they do. Maybe I'm racist against Irish people because I'm saying leprechauns don't exist. You know, that's the answer to any intellectual argument you can't win. Just say someone's a racist, but I'm going far afield now, aren't I? It is so frustrating to see my freedom, your freedom, our freedom being flushed down a toilet while the borders are wide open. I mean, how transparent is this? France is wide open to open immigration. Illegals pour in every day, get put on welfare. The country is on the verge of economic collapse by every metric, just like Spain, Portugal, Greece, Ireland, and other areas. The bankers are taking control of it. The French government saying you can't say father and mother on documents because it hurts people that aren't male or female. Oh, see, being a father hurts someone that can't be a father. See where this tyranny goes? This is mind control. Oh, but these jihadis, which more and more I think evidence is leaning towards this being a real attack, they get to go on Facebook. Let's put up their uh, Facebook for TV viewers if we can. A headline, Daily Mail, Facebook of terror suspects found, and they're on there with their rifles and with their spent cartridges, giving their hand signs, meaning they're going to kill for Allah, and nothing was done. But I've seen articles in the French press where vacationing Americans will joke about, you know, we're going to blow this place up partying, and within two hours, French police knocked down their Rich carlton door, dragging them out because they said, we're going to blow this place up partying. They could look and see they were party animals, no criminal record, uh, that, that it was in context of partying, but they went ahead and SWAT teamed them. Same thing happened a few years ago where there was a text message in the United States of some visitors in L.A. saying something similar. They got a visit. Remember uh, the folks searching for pressure cookers weren't even Muslim in Florida, got SWAT teamed? They wanted pressure cookers to cook some food. I have a crock pot and a pressure cooker. I have a big crock pot for putting turkeys and chickens in it. I expect a SWAT team attack any minute. I'm being sarcastic, but might as well. Everybody knows I'm not a jihadi. Everybody knows I'm not planning a terror attack. Actually, Southern Poverty Law Center, ADL, MSNBC, came out and said that I'm, quote, connected to the Boston bombers.
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like they may have visited my website, which gets millions of visitors a day. It's like saying they visited CNN, so CNN's guilty as well. So this is the attempt that we see taking place. Are you upset about this? Our government creates a new Islamic army under the name ISIS. Our military gets upset about it, says we won't file on the side of Al-Qaeda. Ted Cruz and Rand Paul come out and say that a year and a half ago. So they changed the name to ISIS. It's the same group. And now they're connected directly to these guys who reportedly traveled to Yemen for training and then posted the jihad photos from Yemen with them training at training camps with AK-47s. And then they got back into France with rocket-propelled grenades, RPGs, and full-auto Kalishnikovs, and nothing was done about it. Just like with the FBI, cooking the bomb, giving them the detonators, and then Ahmad Salem tries to stop it, and he's pulled off the case, and they send in another bomb maker to help him finish it and let them carry out the attack. Because then you get more funding, and Congress is calling for more anti-terror laws, and the French are, and the British are. Let's play the MI5 head. Here's the Reuters headline, Britain's MI5 chief warns Al-Qaeda in Syria planning mass attacks on the West. Oh, they've got more than 10,000 heat-seeking, shoulder-fired, impad, surface-to-air missiles that aren't much bigger than an RPG. If these guys could smuggle at least three RPGs they were seen with, one they used inside the newspaper, that's from InfoWars, you're getting that. Can they get a Chinese copy of a Stinger in? Can they get a U.S. modern Stinger? Because the stuff they've got is mainly U.S. Oh, I've even had, by name, the CIA pilot, Tosh Plumley on to talk about his NATO source and others. Flying the weapons into them. The military gets so upset they land because they have military that offloads it. They have contractor pilots. And the jihadis shoot their mouths off and say, we're going to kill you next in English. That's how, imagine being a special forces NATO soldier, U.S. soldier, and you land in Jordan or you land in Iraq, or you land in Turkey at these training camps, and at the airport, at the airbase, a truck pulls up, and it's a 25-year-old jihadi from England with a 23-year-old jihadi from France with a 30-year-old jihadi handler from the U.S., and they even smart-mouth them when they're giving them the weapons. I have that directly from people offloading the weapons. You understand? That's why you saw thousands of officers covering their faces, holding up pieces of paper saying, I won't fight for Al-Qaeda in Syria because it's so sick. The American people may buy it and may be in a coma and not know how big this is, but the military does. That's why Dempsey went to Obama two years ago at midnight on a Friday and said, the military is going to rebel if you try to launch a, a, a air bombardment against Syrian targets. And if you try to send in ground troops, Assad's done nothing to anybody. The military is finally waking up. And Dempsey didn't do that because he's an angel. The military got it, folks. If we can duplicate that, it's game over for this. And we're an inch away from that right now. The bold move. The naked move. I mean, we had a former colonel in the Egyptian military on who just loves America, loves the U.S. military, hates radical Islam, worked for the FBI, saying, unfortunately, it looks like our government's arming ISIS and is behind it. And he was very upset. And he said, this is to scapegoat Islam and create a clash of civilizations. He gets it. He gets it. And it's to turn the Middle East over to a bunch of Wahhabist cavemen. Well, I stand against radical Islam. I'm sorry. I'm a radical. I stand against shooting police in the head. I'm a bad person. I stand against Al-Qaeda. I'm not trendy. I understand that. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? 
We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me? You can go straight to hell. You understand that?